American Top 40. Now at number 39, another debut record, and here's a group out of Australia. They call themselves Little River Band, and their album, Little River Band, was voted album of the year by the Australian record industry. This is a song from that LP. It's called It's a Long Way There, and it's a smash at number 39. River Band. They make their home in Melbourne, Australia, and they're at number 39 with their first American hit. The song, It's a Long Way There. American Top 40. This is Casey Kasem in Hollywood with the countdown of the 40 biggest hits in the USA. Let me give you the names of the six men in this next group. There's David Briggs, Glenn Shorick, George McArdle, Graham Goble, Derek Polici, and B. Bertels. Their home base is Melbourne. They're the Little River Band, and they're at number 23 this week with Reminiscing. At number 23, moving up five on American Top 40, that's Reminiscing by the Little River Band. This is Casey on AT40 in Hollywood. The Little River Band have described themselves as faceless, but it really doesn't matter, does it? Because, if I may bend a line from the Bible, by their sound shall we know them. Their latest sound is at number 18. Cool Change, The Little River Band. The 18th most popular song in the USA this week by The Little River Band from Australia. That's Cool Change. Here's a group whose first hit was back in 1976 called It's a Long Way There. Their biggest hit is Reminiscent. It went to number three. And their latest hit is called Cool Change. This is the Little River Band at number 10 this week. From Melbourne, Australia at number 10, moving up a notch, the Little River Band and Cool Change. Now, let's see who are the most successful native-born Australians when it comes to hitting the American charts. Now, the most successful Australian-born group on the U.S. charts are a six-man band who have hit our top 40 eight times. And four of those hits made the top 10. Their biggest in 1978 was a song called Reminiscing. It hit number three. Their other top 10s were Lady, Cool Change, and Lonesome Loser. The group, The Little River Band. And they're just a few points ahead of their closest rival, Air Supply. But they're holding on to the lead thanks partly to their current hit, The Night Owls. It's up three notches this week to number 17. Here's the American Chart's most successful Australian-born group, The Little River Band. Moving from number 20 to number 17 on American Top 40, The Little River Band and The Night Owl. American Top 40. Well, now we're up to the latest Top 10 smash by the top Australian group, The Little River Band. And this song, The Night Owls, is their first hit with the lead vocal sung by an American. Now, that in itself isn't strange, but the reason for it is. The Little River Band's regular lead vocalist is Australian musician Glenn Shorrock, who lives in Sydney. But the band records in a studio in Melbourne. That's about 400 miles south by car. So their procedure is to record the music tracks first before Shorrock drives down to do the vocal. And to test how it's going to sound when words and music come together, one of the musicians will sing a rough vocal track, which is later replaced by singer Shorrock. Well, in the case of the Night Owls, this reference vocal track was recorded by the new bass player, an American named Wayne Nelson. Then, when Glenn Shorrock drove down and began working on the song, the group agreed that Wayne Nelson's voice was better suited for it. So, it's Wayne Nelson who sings lead on the Little River Band's current smash. And that never would have happened if the group recorded in Sydney. Or if Shork lived in Melbourne. Or if the two cities weren't so far apart. <laughs> At number 13 this week, here's the Little River Band and the Night Owl. After six consecutive weeks in the top ten, the Night Owls by the Little River Band out of Australia falls to number 13. And the countdown continues. The Little River Band's current album, Time Exposure, was produced by former Beatle producer George Martin. And the group's lead singer, Glenn Shorrock, told the Los Angeles Times it was an exciting experience for him. He said, quote, 
I used to be a complete Beatle freak. If George Harrison grew a mustache, I'd grow a mustache. I had fantasies about becoming a fifth Beatle. So George Martin was awe-inspiring. End of quote. The Little River Band's current George Martin-produced single climbs a notch this week to number 11. Here's Take It Easy On Me. Take it easy on me. The Little River Band on American Top 40, one step away from the top 10. Their ninth Top 40 hit at number 11. It's Take It Easy On Me. Billboard ranks them and AT40 counts them down. Here's another one of the five new songs debuting in the survey this week. It's the latest hit by the Little River Band, and they've got a new lead singer. The group's former lead singer, Glenn Shorick, has gone on to a solo career. The man who stepped in to replace him is John Farnham. He debuts at number 34 with the rest of the Little River Band, singing a song called The Other Guy. Debuting on AT40 at number 34, the Little River Band from Australia with The Other Guy. The hits from coast to 